Hey everybody, welcome back to my channel. Today I'm doing a collab with a YouTuber named Vanessa Loves the Makeup. Here is a clip of her look. Hey guys, welcome back to my channel. For those who are new, hi, my name is Vanessa and I love makeup. Today I will be doing this really pretty look that I love so much today. If you like my channel, please subscribe. Just hit that little uh, red button and the little bell so that you can be notified of when I do my next videos, which is almost every day. And that is it. I will see you guys tomorrow. Bye. Um, we found this. It is inspired by another YouTuber. And I will link the original video in the description. The original YouTuber is, I can't pronounce it, please don't hate me, Dennis Lava Makeup. It's got about 105,000 views, so you may have seen it already. Um, to create this look, I used my Jaclyn Hill palette, along with my Morphe 35B and several other products. Um, I'll list everything that I have on my face in the description, like always. And today is going to be a voiceover. All you're going to get to see is the eyes. But while I was off camera, I took care of everything else. And this is the look. And if you'd like to see how I do this, keep watching. And if you want to watch my collab video, uh, check out her link in the description. See y'all in a second. Okay, so first steps first, we dip into this MAC Paint Pot and Soft Ochre, take a flat brush, and just put it all over the lid. This is going to act as your primer, and it's going to help keep everything in place, make it last a little bit longer, and all that good stuff that we definitely want when we're applying bright colors like you see we're going to be doing today. <clears throat> so, guess the first palette I'm going to dip into none other than my Jaclyn Hill. She is my favorite and these colors are incredible. So first I'm going to dip into Enlighten or Enlight and I'm going to use that all over my lid with a fluffy brush. This is just to set that MAC paint pot and to be a base for all the shadows to come. Um, this is always a good idea whenever you're laying down eyeshadow just to give it something to lay on top of. Next, I'm going to grab this NYX Jumbo Pencil. Uh, it's in a white color. This is going to make my colors pop, and it's going to help them stick. This is just a little trick if you're trying to get a super bright eye look and you're afraid that it won't go down exactly how you want. Just toss a white pencil eyeshadow on there, and you're going to get way more pigment payout. So next, we're going to dip into Pool Party, everybody's favorite shade. And I know I don't usually do it in this order, but as you can see, I'm going to get it on my finger and lay it down on the first two-thirds of my lid, starting in the inner corner. Um, the tutorial I watched, this is how they did it, and I wanted to follow it as close as I could. And this also allows me to get that color down so that I know where to work in my crease and I don't have anything that's going on top of, so it can lay down as bright as it needs to. Then, of course, we're going to dip into twerk this is the dark blue and we're just going to put that on that outer third this is going to automatically deepen the corner give it a whole other dimension and kind of allow that look to just I don't know, be very dimensional which is always important <clears throat> and it is going to take a little bit because unlike pool party twerk is not quite as pigmented it is very pigmented but since it's darker you have to work in layers, which is really a good thing. So you can't just put it down. And it, it doesn't blow up all over your lid like dark colors do sometimes. And you want to try to blend it just a teeny bit with your finger, but not too much. So now I'm going to have to dip into a different palette. This is my Morphe 35B, and I'm going to get the bright pink shade. I'm going to use this as my first crease color. Whenever it meets with these blue colors, uh, you're going to see that it gives off almost a purple color. In the tutorial, she used a different pink shadow, but this is the one I had on hand, so I decided to try it, and I'm doing it with my uh, white bristle doe color brush. It's really dense, and it lays down that crease color super well, gets tons of pigment on there. This is something, you can take it up as high as you want or leave it kind of low in my case, since I do have hooded eyes. 
I took it up a little bit higher than I normally would and took it up high enough that I don't just get that ombre purple effect, but I still get the pink up at the top, which is what I was going for. And I took it also on my lower lash line. Uh, since I have tons of bright blue in there, I wanted to keep the other colors on my lower lash line to kind of connect everything together. You can see where I'm connecting it in the outer corner just to be sure everything flows together and makes a little more sense. So now back to Jaclyn Hill. We are going to dip into Royalty. This is the purple color and we're going to use this to deepen up the crease even more. I put this on a smaller, almost like a pencil brush. Still has the same dense white bristles, but I put it on a smaller brush so I could be more in particular and specific about where I got this color because I didn't want it to go crazy. I don't want to lose the pink, but I do want to deepen it up and be sure that that purple is still there. And that also has some shimmer in it. And y'all know me, I love my shimmers. So of course, that's exactly what I had to do and also put it on the lower lash line. Uh, the next important thing we have to do is to highlight. And for this, we're going into Obsessed. This is just going to highlight my brow bone, like you see here. Just take some, sweep it over. It's going to diffuse that pink, but give you a little bit of sparkle, just like you want on your brow bone to kind of make the look pop a little more. Uh, then I took a little more of Royalty and put it in there to deepen that up a little more. Because, of course, by the time you get to the end of the look and everything's on the eye, you have to touch up some stuff, and I wanted to be sure I showed that. I also had to touch up a little bit of pool party just to get that vibrant color I was looking for and make sure that this look popped as much as the original did because I really wanted to do it justice. It is a lot different, but I wanted to be sure that I got that vibrant color in there. So now that this is done, I got off camera and did my whole face. For my lips, I use ColourPop Ultra Matte in Notion. This actually came out of the BoxyCharm. I never would have ordered it myself, but I love it. It is so vampy. Um, so for my look, of course, I have on my Fenty. I have on some Flutter Lashes that I got in a Beautycon box. And uh, everything else that I have on will be listed in the description, like always. I hope y'all enjoyed this video. If you'd like to see the other half of this collab from Vanessa, be sure to hit her link in my description and go check it out. And please don't laugh at my model faces. I hope you all have a great day, and I'll see you all later. Bye, guys.